Well, hello and welcome to Match of the Day here in Sydney, where the rain was threatening all morning. In fact, it was uh, drizzling all morning here in the, uh, at the Marconi Stadium. But I'm happy to say that it's fined up at the moment. And uh, our Match of the Day between Marconi and the visiting Adelaide City is ready to get underway. And I've got uh, a couple of the players here with me. Uh, on my right is Tommy McCulloch, who's coming back for Marconi. But on my left is a man we haven't seen for quite a while, Brian Northcote of, uh, of Adelaide City. Good to see you back, Brian. Uh, there, fighting, <laughs> fighting fit uh, uh, on this uh, rather desperate occasion for Adelaide City. Well, uh, yeah, fighting to get fit, I think, more than fighting fit. But uh, I don't know if you realise this is my last game in the National League. Um, yes, we've heard that. Right. And it's just they're in a desperate situation. And uh, due to lack of registered players, I, I suppose I was uh, the only choice. Well, I, I, the memory takes us back to some great performances by yourself and some great goals scored, and uh, I'm sure that uh, you can uh, you can uh, produce the goods for them today. Well, I hope so. I think uh, well, we're obviously underdogs, but uh, we're never to be taken lightly. We've got uh, some good players out in the park today, and I'll just do my best to try and help them out. Well, a man not so close to your to your uh, retirement as you are, Brian, is with me, uh, Tommy McCulloch. Tommy, you've been out for quite a while. You'll be itching itching to come back, and uh, playing the champions today would be probably the right occasion for you. Yeah, Les, they've got four players out, but they're still a really good side. They're still the Australian champions, and I don't think it'd be an easy match today by any means. And I don't think Adelaide City are the underdogs either. You don't think they're, they're the underdogs? Well, this guy is about to ready to retire, and they've called him back, so they must be uh, in a bit of bother. Yeah, we've got problems as well, Les. We've still got six players um, injured or suspended. So um, we'll just give it our best shot, and hopefully we'll win. Well, both teams play attractive football traditionally, uh, Tommy and Brian. I hope it uh, turns out to be a, a game uh, for, the, for, the, for the occasion. Thanks very much for joining us. OK, let's check the lineups now with our commentator, Mike, Hart, Mike Hill. Well, thanks, Les. And there's the scene here at the Marconi Stadium. Let's check, check on the Marconi lineup for today. It shows one change from the side that beat St George last week by two goals to one. Jeff Gonin is out through suspension. The player coming back in, as you heard, was Tommy McCulloch. Paul Carter is rumoured to be off at the end of this season to try his luck with Vardar in Yugoslavia. Adelaide City, well, they're in desperate straits, and there's their lineup named by their coach, Zoran Matic. Good news for them is that number six, Sergio Melta, who missed last week's game, is back from injury. So, Adelaide City, the National League champions, our referee this afternoon is Mr. Bob Davies, a police sergeant who comes from Newcastle. So Adelaide City who really are in desperate straits, they've only won one game since the break and just before the break as we remember on match of the day they were in scintillating form when they downed Sydney Croatia by three goals to two. Straight after the break they won Brun against Brunswick Juventus by four goals to nil. Since then and all throughout July they've only managed two draws and two losses. Tony Henderson, the Marconi skipper, and his opposite number Bugs Iniscus for Adelaide City. Two of the great veterans in the West End National Soccer League, Tony Henderson who's played 257 times in the NSL and Bugsy Niskus who's played 258. Traditionally these games between these two sides are exciting and entertaining affairs. Both sides have good reputations as good footballing teams. It really has been a worrying seven days for Zoran Matic. The centre of your picture there, the Adelaide City coach is worrying times with such a thin squad. So the scene is set here at the Marconi Stadium. Fans with long memories will remember the first season of the West End Soccer League. That was back in 1977 when Adelaide City came to Sydney for the very first time to play Marconi and went away with a 4-0 victory. It certainly made the local soccer experts sit up and take notice. Adelaide City in the black and white stripes get us underway. They're kicking from right to left in the first half. And now Stevie Maxwell, of course, an Adelaide City player. Until the start of this season, so the big transfer fee brought into Marconi. And now Nastevsky. Maxwell. Maxwell trying the shot. Safely taken, though, by Willie McNally. Steve Maxwell, who certainly will be looking for a big game this afternoon against his old team. In fact, scored one of the goals when these two teams met earlier this season in Adelaide, when Marconi run out winners by two goals to one. Now Tommy McCulloch. Bobby Wheatley. Uh, Jerry Gomez. A lot of space on this near touchline. 
Let's try to play that one forward. The ball will screw it away there and away for a goal kick. Jerry Gomez today operating in midfield. He really is a utility player, as he was in his days at Sydney City. So William McNally, who really has been in good form this season for Adelaide City, is rolling that one out, and this is Paul Schillerbeer. Now Sandtrack. Rain in Sydney only in the last week, but this pitch in very good condition. The scheduled Youth League match before today's game was moved to the Marconi training pitch to save the main pitch for this game. Goes all the way back again to Willie McNally. So now Bugs in who so was in doubt this week, picking up an injury. Last week's 1-0 loss to Arpia. Jerry Trot! Jerry Trot! Oh, Carter read that situation well and was in quickly. Now Wheatley. Carboni. Now Henderson. And Jerry Gomez finding space on this near touchline. Mustevsky. Now Maxwell. Gomez made a good run forward. Maxwell cuts inside. McCulloch. Now Gomez. With a late challenge by Tobin. The referee weighs play on. This is Frank Farina. Can you keep in possession? Adelaide City, though, have got everybody back. Now Carter. Gomez. Gomez lifting that one forward. Now Maxwell. Able to control that. The ball goes out of play for a goal kick. Well, joining me this afternoon in the commentary position, in the absence of uh, Johnny Warren, is Les Murray. Les, good start from Marconi. They're keeping possession well. Yes, they are, uh, Mike, and I might say it'll, I'll be happy to see Johnny Warren back next week. I hope he does return. Um, yes, it'll be an interesting game today, Mike, because uh, this Adelaide City side is, of course, depleted. We're all curious to see what Brian Northcote is going to do today. He's been a, a real solid performer for them down the years. We were, both of us remember him in 1977. Uh, what a good season he had then. And it's a great pity that he should be retiring so early. But uh, fortunately for Adelaide City, uh, uh, Sandtrack, Melter and Villani are on the park. And I expect that those three should be able to keep the team together. They're such key men, all three of them. I think if one of those was missing today, they would have, they would have their problems. But uh, similarly for Marconi, we're... Uh, Looking forward to seeing how Tommy McCulloch shapes up uh, in his return after a, uh, a long layoff. He's a soccer root candidate, of course. So it should be a, an entertaining match. So a free kick for Adelaide City for the challenge on Charlie Villani. This free kick to be taken by their skipper, Bugsy Niskers. Silas trying to play that one back and, in fact, play it into touch for a throw in. The throw to be taken by Jerry Gomez. Now Farina. Nicely marked there by Schillerbeer. McCulloch. Now Steve Cauldron. Thought about playing that one back to goal. Charlie Villani was the player lurking. Challenge came in there from Lemmy Vasilis. Player signed at the start of the season from Adelaide, Croatia. Anastevsky. One inside. Sergio Mel to the player, chasing back and turning that one all the way back to his keeper. Folks in Iskus. Now Sandtrack. Sami. Joe Bassani, we saw him a couple of weeks ago making his NSL debut in the match of the day against Heidelberg when he came on as a substitute for the injured Sergio Melter. Recalled this week. Now Paul Schillerbeer. Bellani coming deep. Maximiscus there being forced to play it back by Frank Farina. City at this stage having trouble getting outside their own half. Marconi doing some good pressuring. 
and McCulloch pick up that intercept, getting the return there from Jerry Gomez. Tommy McCulloch with the shot, they took a deflection and away for a corner. First corner of the afternoon, Tommy McCulloch was the player who had the shot. And he took a deflection, pitches up wide for a corner. Came off of Paul Schillerbeer. The corner to be taken by Nastevsky. Tony Henderson has gone forward and so is Jerry Gomez. So plenty of height in the box for Marconi. Nastevsky curling that one in a bit too high. And away for a goal kick. Slavko Nastevsky, the player who joined at the start of the season from Rockdale, the New South Wales State League side. Excellent season last year, scoring 22 goals. there by Antilio Carboni. A free kick this time for Adelaide City. A chance for Adelaide City to get forward for what will be the first time in this match. Vesilas, able to control. Calder was in there first for Marconi. And now Maxwell. Good turn from Steve Maxwell. Oh, the ball well. Now Stefsky. Just took his half the ball. Runs through now for Henderson. Wheatley. Uh, Jerry Gomez. Wheatley lifting that one forward. This was the only player there for Adelaide City. A long clearance. Now Vatsilas. It's there by Cordran. Still Vatsilas. Sandtrack will run forward. Adelaide City now getting players forward quickly. Hassan is the player available on that far side. Now Sandtrack. Put that one across, intercepted there by Tony Henderson. A good call play there from the Marconi defender. Now Maxwell. Carboni. The challenge there, not to the liking of our referee, Bob Davies. Silio Carboni was the player going down after that challenge. Marconi have got a free kick. There's the challenge. Silio Carboni. The player went down, now back on his feet. Free kick taken. Now McCulloch. Stevie Maxwell. Now Wheatley. Spread that one through for Nisevsky to chase. Works in this because police is that one out of play. So goal kick for Adelaide City. So Willie McNally, the Irish-born goalkeeper, who was signed back in 1982 from Perth Club Azuri. Forceful header away that time by Tobin. Sergio Melter. Oh Twist and turn, Sergio Melter there, beaten by Wheatley. Now McCulloch. McCulloch there giving that one away and tied it up by Paul Carter. Way back for Bruce James. Now Tony Henderson. Tony. Now Henderson. Stefsky just lifting that one in Farina at the far post. The header from Frank Farina on target was safely taken there by Willie McNally. Positioning there by the Adelaide City keeper. Frank Farina here did well. It's the header on target, but no worries at all for the keeper. Now called around McCulloch through the legs of Melter. Gomez. Now Carter. Carter, not too many options open for him at the moment. Bobby Wheatley. Carboni's made a good run on that far side. Schillerbeer comes in all over Frank Freena and gets a yellow card for his effort. So the first yellow card for Schillerbeer for that challenge on Frank Freena. So 
So a free kick to Marconi. Halfway in the Adelaide City half. So Nostevsky and McCulloch, the two players over the ball. So Nostevsky passing that one against the wall. Sarni on that far side. Trying to get away from Carboni. Play there from Antidio Carboni. Such a competitive player. Now Henderson. Carter. Floating that one in away by Shilavir. And the mix up there in the Adelaide City defence. Tied up eventually, in fact, by Charlie Villani. Just touching it back to Willie McNally. The moments there of indecision that will certainly worry Zoran Matic. Now that's Silas. Sand track. Stopped there by Jerry Gomez. Alpasani. Jim Elter on that far side, just failing to keep the ball in. The throw goes to Adelaide City. Maybe for Silas there being pushed in the back. Roberto Vieri, Marconi coach, who comes into this match knowing his side is in third position. Next player, of course, with Juventus in Italy. Such a favourite here in 1977. So his career ended in 1980. Uh, Paul Carter. Gomez. Alex Tobin that time penalised. A challenge on Nostevsky. Nostevsky trots forward and leaves this free kick to be taken by Jerry Gomez. In fact, Gomez leaves it now for Paul Carter. So Marconi with plenty of height in the penalty area. He prepares to take this free kick. Away, Alex! Defender's eyes there makes it very difficult. Eventually hooked away there by Alex Tobin. Now Farina. Carter. All loose. Eventually finishes up in the arms of Willie McNally. But certainly that free kick from Paul Carter caused a lot of problems. And the Adelaide City players there having the sun in their eyes. And the ball was loose. Throw on the far side to Adelaide City. So a bit of a let off there, Les, for Adelaide City. Yes, it is. Uh, Marconi have got the better of the play, certainly, at the moment. The only thing that uh, I'd be concerned about uh, as Charlie Villani gallops away here from uh, Paul Carter is that the similar thing happened in the Croatia game that you remember so well. And, uh, of course, Adelaide City ended up winning the match 3-2. Now sad track. North Coast. Hassani. In that one right across the face of the goal, nobody there for Adelaide City, and Paul Carter concedes the corner. Come on. Adelaide City so dangerous there on the break. Asani was the player on that far side, hitting that one across. Belter can't get a touch, and Paul Carter concedes the corner. So the first corner of the afternoon for Adelaide City, coming after 15 minutes. No score between Adelaide City and Marconi here at the Marconi Stadium. Adrian Sandtrack to take this corner. Shilabir was the player coming in but failing to get a touch. Now Jerry Gomez. Maxwell. Brian Northcote there making the challenge. And his father is Paul Carter. Now Wheatley. Still Robbie Wheatley. Carter. Maxwell. Pretty close down there by Charlie Villani. Now Melter. Luxiniscus always available for Adelaide City. Player of immense experience. Now Sandtrack. Adelaide City at this stage seeming to have weathered that Marconi storm in the first 15 minutes. Now starting to settle down. 
Iskanos. Maxi Iskanos there gets the yellow card for the challenge on Tommy McCulloch, which from this angle seems rather a harsh decision from the referee. That's still the second yellow card. And a great pity, Mike, because Bugsy Niskahis has not received a booking all season, including cup matches. Well, that one did seem a bit harsh. Hold there, hold there, hold there, hold there. Now finishes up with a free kick for Marconi. Don't back in, don't back in. So Carboni. Frank Freener on that far side. Freener. Closely marked. And then being pulled back, so a free kick for Marconi. Frank Freener, seven goals so far this season in the league, plus one in the cup. So the player that Adelaide City will have to keep a close eye on this afternoon. He's been in good form since he returned from Korea with the Winfield Socceroos. Mistewski with the free kick, curling that one in. Adelaide City with plenty of players back. Salas, in fact, was the only player forward there. It's Vassalis now trying to put Tony Henderson under pressure. Carter. Now Wheatley. Stefski. Henderson. And Maxwell. And Toby was in first. Star throw this time for Marconi. Taken by Jerry Gomez. Farina. Frank Farina getting that one across. Maxwell taking it well on his chest, unable to turn it. Still Maxwell trying to play it wide, and Farina, in fact, a cut inside. Ball goes out of play. Steve Maxwell. Such a good season last year in Adelaide City's championship winning season, scoring 11 goals. Managed four so far this season for his new club, Marconi. It's Adrian Sandtrack. Shirt being pulled there by Carboni. Sandtrack. Apasani. Spread it wide, playing it in fact behind Alex Tobin. And this goes. Three green shirts bearing down on him. His clearance wasn't the best. Now Gomez. Maxwell. Gomez again. Off of Niskus. Corner for Marconi. So Marconi there combining well, causing more problems for Adelaide City coach Zoran Matic. Jerry Gomez, who had such a fine game when these two teams met earlier this season, certainly making his presence felt here this afternoon. He's gone forward for this corner, as has Tony Henderson. Nestevsky. Hit the one hard and low. Now Adrian Sandtrack. Ryan Northcote. Now Vasilis. Vasilis there, just unable to keep the ball in play. Throws to Marconi. Now Nastevsky. Now Jerry Gomez. And he can't keep it in either. So a throw now for Adelaide City. Throw to be taken by Alex Tobin, former Australian Youth International. Northcote. Quite a tussle. In fact, appealing to the referee that he was being pulled back and then he's penalised himself. Marconi fans. Looking for another home win here this season. They've won four and lost three of their eight home matches, one finishing up in a draw. Alec prepares to take this free kick. Come on. Come on,
player coming in at the far post. Stani can't stop it from going out of play, but a goal kick is given. But it does seem, Les, that uh, Adelaide City have started to settle, and we're seeing the Adelaide City that we expect to see. Yes, they have. Uh, they had a. They needed to take a bit of time to settle into uh, this particular game. Marconi's playing, uh, playing it very tight at the back. Uh, I noticed that uh, there's some very tight marking going on. Wheatley's got Villani, for example. Carboni's got Sergio Melta. Carter's on Northcote, wherever he goes. And Calderan's got Vatilas. That's a typical Italian game that uh, uh, Roberto Vieri likes to play and it's very effective uh, once once they cross the halfway line Adelaide City all their players are tightly marked it's very difficult to uh, get through them and uh, it takes a bit of while to while of getting used to it for Adelaide City so Willie McNally to get this one forward Adelaide City is away record this season it's played seven they've won two they've drawn three Lost just two. As Charlie Villani is the judge there to do some pushing on Tommy McCulloch. Free kick quickly taken. Now McCulloch. Maxwell. Return from Steve Maxwell. Now Jerry Gomez. Laying that one back. Carter. Moving that one in with his left foot. Freeman with a header. In fact, it was Mostevsky who came in. The header was on target, but well taken there by Willie McNally. Slavko Nastevsky, who scored when these two teams met earlier this season, is the player that comes in with firm header, safely taken there by Willie McNally. Now Carter. Maxwell. Nastevsky trying to play a 1-2 there with Maxwell. Bugsiniska's got in there first, concedes the corner. Marconi in this first half with the assistance of what is now proven to be quite a stuff uh, breeze at their backs. Steski to take the corner. Henderson's gone forward again. This time playing it to the far post, testing one for the keeper. McNally comes and takes it safely. Safe goalkeeping there from Willie McNally. Seems to have got a knock for his troubles. McNally, who's been in Frank Rock's Australian squad a couple of times for training camps. I think Jerry Gomez also got a clash when he went up for that ball. Jerry Gomez is down in back play at the moment. So Jerry Gomez, you can see there, just slowly trying to get to his feet. At the moment, it's Adelaide City. Now Sergio Melta needs help at the moment. Five green shirts back. Now Brian Northcote's made a run on that far side. Northcote winning that one in. Way there by Carter. Now Gomez. Mostevsky is trying to touch that one forward. Play City there with plenty of defenders. Now Northcote. Sergio Comey there was the player making the mistake and giving the ball away. Now Farina. Gomez. Now Robbie Wheatley. Nesnevsky. Way by Niskahus. Now Wheatley. Farina. Free to try to play that one back for Robbie Wheatley. Villani was in there first for Adelaide City. Now Nesnevsky. Big cross in from Nesnevsky. No worries at all for Charlie Villani. He's having to wait though for players to get forward. That seal a good turn. Melter's made a run through the middle. Sergio Melter there, just fractionally offside. Silas there, just needed to play the ball a few seconds earlier. This is where Adelaide City is so dangerous on the break. So what has proved to be a very pleasant afternoon here in Sydney has certainly brought the Marconi supporters out. Schillerbeer. Now Niskus. Niskus there. Being pushed after he played the ball by Stevie Maxwell. Strange how players always seem to raise their games against former clubs. 
Certainly, we saw that when these two teams met earlier this season with Steve Maxwell, and he looks very sharp this afternoon as well. Martiniscus. Came off the head there of Lemmy Vasilis. So Robbie Wheatley with the throw. It's playing it all the way back to Bruce James. Certainly Bruce James should get this one a long way forward with the wind at his back. One of the longest kicks in the National Soccer League. And that one comes off the head there of Paul Schillevier. Now Maxwell. Carter. Pushing that one in. Be there by Pasami. Now Farina. Wheatley on that far side. Yastevsky. Robbie Wheatley on the overlap. I swear Robbie Wheatley's so good. Such a good crosser of the ball. Playing that one inside. Now Nestevsky. So Nestevsky through the legs there of Niskas. Adrian Sandtrack was the player backing up. Bugs in Niskas and then running into trouble. Now Niskas. Niskas there indicating he wants players to come closer. Adelaide City have really been under the hammer in these first 27 minutes. Still no score. Marconi nil. Adelaide City nil. Now Nastevsky. It's the ball again from Nastevsky. Marconi have given a lot of possession, but they really are squandering it with some very bad final balls. Now Nastevsky, this time beaten by Shilabir. Carboni. Gomez there climbing all over Brian Northcote. So the free kick goes to Adelaide City. Roberto Vieri watching that challenge from Jerry Gomez, which results in a free kick. To be taken now by Alex Tobin. Milani. Now Vatsilas. And there before Tony Henderson. Still Lemmy Vatsilas. Play that one in looking for Charlie Villani. Tommy McCulloch was the player chasing back in a good intercept. Now Maxwell. Stefski. Green has made a run forward. Okay, being followed by Paul Schillevier. And a goal kick is given. The referee says that came off of Frank Farina. Frank Farina there appealingly looking at the referee for a corner. Tobin. Melter. Sergio Melter. <laughs> Paul Schillevier forward. Clash there between Vasilis and Calder and the referee weighs play on. Now McCulloch. Play City quite content to surrender the middle of the park to Marconi. They're getting players back behind the ball and really are making it difficult for the home side. Now Maxwell. They're behind the Adelaide City defence. Stevie Maxwell. Now Carter. Get up, get up! McCulloch. Gomez. Everybody for Adelaide City now behind the ball. Henderson. It's only Henderson there losing out to Vasilis. Adelaide City now on the break. Let me Vasilis needing help. And pulled down there by Nastevsky. Free kick to Adelaide City. A bit Vasilis there picking up on the mistake from Tony Henderson. Being pushed to the ground. Nastevsky. Now Pasani. Northcote. Playing that bit too far ahead. Or Adrian Sandtrack. So throw now to Marconi. So that's Leo Carboni. 
rejoined Marconi this season after a couple of years with Inter Monaro. Of course, it's a Marconi Jr. Now Adrian Sandrak. Silas. Away! Coming that one inside now for Lani. Bobby Wheatley was the player across, and Steve Calder and tying it up and touching that one back to Bruce James. Charlie Villani, who oh, at such a, uh, a young age is the most experienced player up front now for Adelaide City this afternoon in the absence of Vidmar. Timmy Mullen. This kick. Now Max Wall. Toby was the player coming across. So throw into Marconi. Now Gomez. See if Max will limp him badly, in fact, and not keeping his eye on the ball that time. No Malta. Carboni penalised. To Adelaide City. <laughs> so it'll be Bugsy Niskos to take this free kick. Avalani, okay, Robbie Wheatley, close attendance. Back header by Nesteski, who was a judge to have been backing into the player. Sailors at the moment it's a very stop-start match very much so the flow has gone out a bit uh, out of it a bit Mike because I suspect because uh, some of the frustration creeping into the Marconi play but uh, I don't know overall uh, you have to say that Marconi certainly ha are the better side at the moment taking the game to Adelaide City and if anybody deserves to lead it's it's them but you have to get the ball into the net and I keep remembering that game between Adelaide City and Sydney Croatia which uh, Adelaide City won 3-2, despite the fact that overall Croatia had the more of the ball, and in the end, uh, Adelaide City deserved to win. So it's only Henderson. Now Farina. Back to Henderson. Gomez just touching that one forward. Brian Northcote clearing, but only conceding the corner. So Roberto Vieri, another cigarette. Looking concerned, his players have really dominated the first 33 minutes. So far, have nothing to show for their domination. So Nesteski. Far post corner, Gomez! Scrambled off the line. Away for another corner. Jerry Gomez, so dangerous in those situations. And again, he climbed so well. Everything right, headed the ball down and off the knees there of Willie McNally. So another corner for Marconi. Jerry Gomez who scored just one goal so far this season. This time the corner's taken short. Now McCulloch. Mistevsky. Mistevsky trying the shot right across the face of goal. Away for a goal kick. Marconi fans will certainly know that their team has dominated so much in this first half. Foul to turn that domination into goals. Jerry Gomez trying to take the throw quickly. Pretty well marked at the moment. Farina came forward and made himself available. Now called ran. Henderson, Henderson there, slipping. This is Sergio Melter. Melter with the shot. Fingertip save there. From Bruce James. That's the danger of Adelaide City. Slipped by Tony Henderson. Sergio Melter. Tiny shot from a long way out. Brought the best out of Bruce James. Sergio Melter so close there to breaking the deadlock here at the Marconi Stadium. Silio Carboni on that far side as Marconi come forward again. Alex behind you. Listevsky. Run from Listevsky. 
Maxi Niskus was the player who came across. So corner conceded. Matic. Hey, sure would have been hoping that Sergio hey, Melzer could have made that chance. Tell. Watch Pugdiniskus hey, 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 stopping that run out. from Stefko well, 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 Come on, Yeti. So a corner for Marconi. The head there is Sandtrack. Helped on his way by Brian Northcote. That's Silas. The whole play up. There was nobody forward, in fact, for Adelaide City. Silas had the free kick for the challenge by Tony Henderson. Now Sandtrack. Cordran. Now Wheatley. Wheatley, the player they paid. $5,000 for from Blacktown a couple of seasons ago. Now Carboni. Farina. Now Carboni. McCulloch. It's putting it wide. Paul Carter. Closed down there by Brian Northcote. Still Carter. Way by Niskers. And now Sandtrack. All running away from him. Carboni was in there first. Melter. It's clear as that as far as Carboni, now Henderson. Can he keep in position? Again, Adelaide City have got everybody back. Now Robbie Wheatley. Carter. Trying to play that one across hard and low force for Gomez. Jerry Gomez there. The shot goes into the side netting. Got a good build up there. Paul Carter cut the ball back, a slip there by Alex Tobin, it fell nicely for Jerry Gomez. And the shot there goes into the side netting. So now Tobin. Ball from behind by Jerry Gomez, free kick quickly taken. Sergio Melter. Now Villani. Now Villani there, a judge could have been fouled by Jerry Gomez. From this angle, there seemed very little wrong with that challenge. Charlie Villani there. Certainly there, Jerry Gomez made contact with the ball and certainly not with his opponent. Let's so with the free kick. You see this being pulled back, this time by Caldran. Charlie Villani. Just that one forward, it came off the head of Wheatley, so a throw now for Adelaide City. Luis Ovieri made 66 appearances for Marconi and scored 16 goals. His spell here as a player between 1977 and 1980. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go here! Let's go! Alex Tobin. Away! Let's go! Way there by Wheatley. And this goes. Way by Caldran. Sandtrack. Playing that one wide. This is Sergio Melter. Adelaide City now got plenty of players forward. Sergio Melter there trying to play that one. Pass Carboni. Goes now to play. Sergio Melter showing no ill effects from that injury he received a couple of weeks ago. I missed last week's game through. Now Sandtrack. Off of Tony Henderson. So a corner for Adelaide City. Certainly Zora Matic will be happy with his team's performance. They really have defended well. They've been under a lot of pressure in this first half. But certainly on the break, they've looked very dangerous. And now Adelaide City have got a corner. So Adrian Sandtrack. Away! Way there by Carter. Max Wall. Down to Stefsky. Called around. Releasing Jerry Gomez. Only now trying to get players forward quickly. Go, come on, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Gomez. Intercepted there by Niskurs, but gives it back to Jerry Gomez. McCulloch. Who was injured in that Beach Fashions Cup semi-final? 
Steve Maxwell goes down and appeals to the referee for a penalty. Certainly nothing given. Cut there with the through ball. It comes off of Steve Maxwell. He never had control of the ball. And the referee there was right. Now Northcote. From behind by Jerry Gomez. Jerry Gomez challenge there, catching the ankle of Brian Northcote. Iniscus there talking to the referee and I think he's saying well two of my players including myself have been booked for similar challenges certainly the referee in this afternoon has been very inconsistent two yellow cards for rather harmless challenges now similar challenges going completely unpunished so Bugs Iniscus now Villani, good ball from Charlie Villani to the path there, Sergio Melter, Melter caught by Tony Henderson, case of obstruction, and Henderson gets a yellow card, so the third yellow card of the afternoon, Sergio Melter, Tony Henderson, the two players clashing. gets a yellow card, shakes his head in disbelief. Adelaide City, though, have got a free kick. Adrian Sandtrack, the free kick specialist for Adelaide City. Charlie Villani, two players over the ball. Marconi have pulled everybody back. About two and a half minutes to go to half time. Bruce James ensuring that he's got a good view of this free kick. Five man wall for Marconi. Charlie Villani took a deflection, and Adelaide City have taken the lead. The goal coming against the run of play, scored after 43 minutes of the first half. Charlie Villani was the player who had the shot in, but he took a wicked deflection. Sends Bruce James the wrong way, and I think that's got to go down as an own goal. The goal coming just two minutes before half-time. Adelaide City, the visitors take the lead. And Marconi, who have had so much of this first half play, have done so much of the attacking, now find themselves a goal down. Certainly looking at that replay, it really did seem that the ball took a wicked deflection. We'll have to find out during the half-time break if Charlie Villani is going to claim that goal or does it go down as an own goal. With 60 seconds to go to half-time, the visitors have taken the lead. Anastevsky. Carboni on that far side for Marconi. Farina trying the shot all along the ground, touched around the post there by Willie McNally. <laughs> Willie McNally, who each time we've seen him on Match of the Day this season, has really been in tremendous form. I mean, that one from Frank Farina around the post. No Carboni. McCulloch. Looking that one forward. Gomez there getting the touch. Now Tony Henderson. Looking that one back. Played by Paul Schillebeer. So a throw now for Marconi. Now watch just 15 seconds to go to half time. Henderson with the throw. Away by Charlie Villani. So a corner now for Marconi. Tony Henderson's gone forward. So is Jerry Gomez. And also Steve Calderan. Slavko Nostevsky. Plenty of players to aim at. They're all queued up at the far post. Nostevsky with the corner. Off the head there of Alex Tobin. Hooked away by Adrian Sandtrack. Late City coming out quickly. Now Wheatley. Asani. Charlie Villani. Corder in there with a the clearance. But straight to the feet, in fact, of Lemmy Vasilis. Vasilis played it in first time. Melter on the run through. Good defensive work there by Paul Carter. Robbie Wheatley on that far side. The throw goes to Adelaide City. Check of the watch there from referee Bob Davies. Now 
stopwatch now. We play 30 seconds of stoppage time. The end of the first half. Now Nastevsky. Jerry Gomez. Maxwell's made a run forward. Here's Maxwell. Tidying up again by Agzineskus. As the half-time whistle goes, it was a shot by Charlie Villani. Scored the goal that separates these two teams. Marconi had so much of the play in the first half, but it was Adelaide City who took the lead just two minutes before half-time from a free kick from Charlie Villani. That's the goal that separates these two teams. The half-time scoreline here at the Marconi Stadium. Marconi nil, Adelaide City one. So let's cross now to Les Murray. Thank you, Michael. Well, Bertie Mariani, the Marconi assistant coach, is with me. Bertie, uh, it's the old story, isn't it? You had most of the ball. You took the game to Adelaide City. You're one goal to nil down. Yeah, usual. They, uh, they've come here, packed the defence quite well. There are times there, their uh, their whole team is within their last, in their third, and it's very, very difficult to play any football. Uh, and the counter-attack football, a silly mistake there, a deflection, and it's a goal, and we're one nil down. Yeah, I keep going back to the uh, Croatia game where Adelaide City had less of the ball than Sydney Croatia and won the match 3-2 because they know how to keep possession and go on the break. How are you going to counter that in the second half? Uh, it'll be interesting to see. I just don't think they're playing. I don't think we're playing to uh, their match plan. We're just going out there. And we're not looking at what we're doing. I think uh, if we can get wide and start to build up the ball a little bit quicker, I, I still think we'll, we'll win this game. Bertie, thank you. Good luck in the second half. That's Bertie Mariani, and uh, we'll take a break. At the Marconi Stadium here in Sydney, where the halftime score is a one nil lead to the visitors, Adelaide City over Marconi. One other halftime score we have for you: Apia Leichhardt leading Heidelberg, one goal to nil. Rod Brown, the scorer there, in that all-important game at Lambert Park. The winners this week of the uh, Western Winner Mazda competition, I'll read out the names for you. These six names go into the hat and stand a chance to win the Mazda car at the end of the season. Ari Patikas of Ashfield in New South Wales, Connie Diamandopoulos of Epping in Victoria, Jay Tibetsma of Padbury in WA, Jeep Pfaff of Hamilton Hill in Victoria, Derek Scott of Spearwood in West Australia, and S. Petrovsky of Newcastle in New South Wales. Well, as you see, as you saw in the first half, uh, both of those sides uh, not exactly at full strength here today. And two of the men who are out of the Marconi regular lineup are David Lowe and Ian Graham. Both of these gentlemen are with me now. David, uh, uh, you've been out for about six and a half years now. <laughs> you want to come back and play soccer, or what's happening? Uh, yes, I hope to be back next week, Les. Uh, I was considering uh, maybe a run on the bench today if the youth team had had a, a run on the bench. That's a bit hard on your feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, but. Uh, I'm really hopeful for next week, yeah. Yeah, what, what was the actual problem? Can you enlighten us on what the injury was? Uh, I tore the, uh, the thigh muscle and the tendon at the top of the right leg and pulled away a little bit of the hip bone with it, so fractured hip and it's taken a little while to mend. It just needed rest, obviously. Well, rest and a little bit of work. Apparently it's a, a, a fairly major injury and uh, I'm uh, considered pretty lucky to, to only be out for maybe two months. Really. Ian, uh, what about you? You've been out for a shorter time than that, and uh, I believe you're looking to be back again next week. Yeah, Les, uh, you know, with any luck, I'll be back next, next week. I sustained a slight strain to the thigh against Juventus here uh, two weeks ago, and, um, you know, with any luck, I should be right for Sunday. Yeah, but uh, of course both of you are uh, hoping that uh, these boys don't all do so well today, so you can uh, be selected next week. Uh, not really, Les. I mean, it's a very important game for us today to, to keep us in with any chance of uh, catching up here, who we've got here in two weeks. So it's vital that we keep winning. All right, just quickly, uh, what do you think of the uh, first half? How do you think uh, your team is going? They're down 1-0 at the moment. I thought we had the uh, majority of the game. I thought it was pretty clear Adelaide came for a point. They played really with one up front and Villani sort of just behind. And uh, they'd be very happy with the, the goal they sneaked just before half time, I would think. Ian? I, yeah, I, I just think myself as if we put a little bit more pressure on them uh, a little bit quicker, I think we'll get them before they can get time to get the, the men back, you know, be behind the ball, which they're doing quite quite well. Ian, uh, David, thanks very much for joining us. I uh, hope you're all right and in the team next week. Thanks, thanks a lot. OK, uh, let's go back to our commentator for the second half, Mike Hill. Well, thanks, Les. Welcome back for the second half with Marconi preparing to kick off. They're kicking from right to left in this second half and during the break they've made a substitution Lee Sterry's come on and I think it's Tommy McCulloch the player who's gone off so Lee Sterry a defender has come on he'll be playing in this central defensive role McCulloch
Kirk has gone off, and in fact, Tony Henderson now has pushed forward into midfield. Kearney have got a free kick. No further, no further than that, Danny. Hey, he's got the big fella at the back. Checking with the referee during the half-time break, the Adelaide City goal has been credited to Charlie Villani. So Nestevsky with his free kick. Bowling this one in off the head there, Steve Caldran. Finishing up over the bar. Steve Caldran, who missed so much of this season. Unbelievable. Through injuries, come back for the last three matches. So dangerous in those situations. That time climbing well, but the header going over the bar. So we play City in the second half with the advantage at the wind at their backs. Nelly getting good distance with that goal kick. And the first touch now for Lee Sterry. Now Jerry Gomez. Stop that time by Sandtrack. Carter. This from Paul Carter, the fullback trying the shot. Finishing up too wide, and Willie McNally not happy there with his defenders. Good surging run there from Paul Carter. Willie McNally certainly not happy with his defenders, who seemed to lay off of Paul Carter as he came through. Shot there, finishing up well wide in the end. Now Henderson, Stefski. Sandtrack. Now Lee Sterry. Wheatley. Carboni. Gordon on the far side. Hey, Mark, how do you got plenty of players forward? Henderson trying to thread that one through. Sandtrack was the player in the way. Sandtrack. And that one forward, Vasilis. Placed there by Cordran. Still Emmy Vasilis. And a tussle there. Bruce James coming well out of his goal. Vasilis. Vasilis trying to play that one across. Charged down there by Carboni. Unable to clear. The Adelaide City players there appealing for a penalty. But a good run there from Lemmy Vatsilis. Got away from three defenders and away from the Marconi keeper. And now Marconi coming forward by Paul Carter. Jerry Gomez available on that far side. Gomez hitting that one hard and low and safely into the arms of Willie McNally. Lemmy Vatsilis at the other end. Certainly caused Marconi a few problems. Surrounded there by three green shirts. Gets away from them, Bruce James comes, he takes it away from the keeper, tries to hook it back. Certainly there it seemed to strike the arm of Antonio Carboni, but the referee was well placed. No penalty given. That's Tony Henderson. Most experienced player in this Marconi side. Hands on in this afternoon now with Marconi having so much of the play. Yeah, finding themselves a goal behind. Paul Carter just failing to keep that one in. Bugs in Eskers, the captain of Adelaide City, will be very pleased with that scoreline. Side leading by a goal to nil. Interesting there, Les, that the referee credited the goal to Charlie Villani because from the replay it certainly showed that uh, it's a wicked deflection. Yes, it did. It's, that's always a difficult uh, thing as to who, who to credit uh, the, goal, the goal to. Obviously, if a player uh, uh, changes the direction of the ball to such a degree where it wouldn't have gone in anyway, uh, you obviously give it as an own goal. But in that instance, uh, I think referees generally are, are tempted to give it to the... Uh, to the man who originally gave the shot, you know that uh, we have that problem in keeping our statistics sometimes. But uh, I think uh, Charlie Villani uh, uh, would be happy to claim that as his, as his goal. It, uh, he certainly hit it hard enough to uh, to cause the problem. Yeah, by Paul Schillabier. Sergio Melter. Sonny. Charlie's there by Steve Maxwell. Sonny there in the ball run over the line, so a throw for Marconi. 
Carboni. Get up, get up, fast. Get up. Henderson. Farina. Farina being closely marked by Paul Schillerbeer. Vasilis. Vasilis there getting away from Steve Caldron. Trying the shot. Safely fielded by Bruce James. Vasilis, the youngster they signed from Adelaide, Croatia. Again, getting away, trying his luck there from a long way out. Bruce James was alert. And Schiller beer. Taking that one forward, nobody there for Adelaide City. Now Carboni. Farina, one across now, Maxwell. Way by North Cone, his father is Antilio Carboni. Carter, looking it wide, looking for Wheatley. Now Henderson. Henderson trying the shot. Good save there by Willie McNally. Tony Henderson, yet to score this season. Won't come much closer than that. Hit that one from well outside the penalty area. Willie McNally reacted so well because that ball was curving. Palmed it away for a corner to be taken now by Nastevsky. Far post corner. Off the head there of Jerry Gomez. And Gomez, a judge there, to have been doing some pushing. Three kicks to relieve the pressure for Adelaide City. Well, as we've seen Willie McNally on a number of occasions this season, he really is an underestimated goalkeeper. Very much underrated. One of the best in the country. And uh, every time we've seen him as... Uh, He's done on this occasion with, with that Tony Henderson shot, a brilliant save, as you said, uh, it had a vicious swerve on that ball. And uh, interesting too, uh, that whole incident from the angle of uh, Tony Henderson, because uh, uh, so often in the past when uh, Marconi were in trouble, seemingly in trouble, uh, Tony Henderson managed to rescue them uh, by virtue of that uh, ability that he has from, from those long distance shots. That's a, that's a very valuable weapon that Marconi has. Now Villani trying to lay that one off for Melter. Weekly playing that one forward. Farina doing well to keep it in. It's there by Schillerbeer. Still Frank Farina. Bugs and Iskus the player across. Another corner for Marconi. It's Tony Henderson now pushed into midfield in the absence of uh, Tommy McCulloch. It'll be interesting to find out what the problem is with McCulloch. Of course, coming back today after injury that he sustained back in May. Dostoevsky. The back header touched away again by Willie McNally. The header came in from Frank Farina. The reaction save again from Willie McNally. Now Carter. Steve Maxwell there going into the back of uh, Bugsy Niskas. Willie McNally again, the saviour for Marconi. came from the corner and it was a good back header from Frank Farina. Keeper did well to keep it out. Avalani. Avalani that time being pulled back. So a free kick now for Adelaide City. So Zoran Ravic. He's delighted with the scoreline that shows his side leading by a goal to nil. And they've now got a free kick to be taken by their skipper Bugs in his guys. Pointed by Steve Caldren. Now Carter. Sterry. Now Antilio Carboni. He's got space on this near touchline. Wood for Farina. Frank Farina there just running the ball out of play. Throw for Adelaide City. Taken by Paul Schillerbeer. 23 year old. Making appearance number 79 in the West End Soccer League. And a long throw there, looking for finding Lenny Vitsilis. So he's trying to play that one into space. North Coast, in fact, made a good run forward. It was well read by Tony Henderson. Jerry Gomez. Henderson. City coming into this match in eighth position. Marconi in third spot. Gomez. 
Way by Bugsy in his goes. First tactics there. So throw on the far side to Marconi. Gomez. Freena taking that well on his chest. Freena with a shot. Greg Freena took that well on his chest, turned and hit it first time. It was a long searching ball in. Frank Freener, in fact, took that on his chest with his back to goal. Frank Freener unable to keep the shot down. Searching ball, though, from Jerry Gomez. Freener here did so well. Slipped as he turned. Still got his shot in, but much too high. Now Nostevsky, Carter. Sarni was the player there, now Sandtrack. Sandtrack there, caught from behind, arguing with the referee that the Ivanda should have been played. He had a very good case, in fact. Pasani was completely unmarked on the far side, and Adelaide said he had possession. It would result in a free kick. Go talking, Now Charlie Villani. Well, Carter, what's behind you? Faced there by Robbie Wheatley. Now Sandtrack. Play that one back. In fact, for Pasani had made a good run forward. Played it a bit too far ahead. No worries at all for Lee Sterry. Now Sergio Melter. Silas. Finding that challenge well. Let me back Silas. Brian Northcote. As we heard him say at the beginning of the show, it's his final NSL game for Brian Northcote. He played two appearances last season. And had to succumb to back trouble again. It was a back injury, in fact, that he got back in 1983. And he managed a couple of games that season. Missed the whole of 84 and 85. will certainly bring more concern to the face of Roberto Vieri. Fell awkwardly, in fact, after the challenge from Paul Schillerbeer. Jerry Gomez. Excuse me now, playing more in a right wing uh, position. Started off in midfield. He certainly fell heavily there after the challenge from Paul Schillerbeer. the clash, Schillerbeer, Gomez following through, catching uh, Paul Schillerbeer as he went in there and fell very awkwardly. So certainly you don't see Jerry Gomez now very often, do we, Les? No, he's a very committed player, Mike. He's, uh, he's often uh, read as being uh, rough or even dirty. Uh, he's certainly not a soft player, but but he's unbelievably committed and he's got those long gangling legs and often uh, gets himself into trouble because of them. Uh, just while we're waiting for that, uh, Mike, uh, we've got a couple of uh, progress scores in Melbourne. Melbourne Croatia leading St George 1-0 at uh, half time and as I mentioned earlier, Apia leading Heidelberg 1-0 at Lambert Park. Here, of course, Adelaide City leading 1-0 and the other matches are all nil-nil, the latest we've heard. So Adelaide City have another corner. Taken by Adrian Sandtrack. Charlie Villani over there. Tell him when I say go, let's go. Hey, listen, listen to my call. Free Bob Davies tries let's to get go. the players back to require 10 Away. paces. Villani with the cross. Away there by Paul Carter. Now Sandtrack. Stopped by Lee Sterry. Throw goes to Adelaide City. Paul Carter! It's gone now in the second half. Coney nil, Adelaide City one. Vasilis. Easy, easy, easy. Vasilis, Steve Cauldron and Lee Sterry, the two players surrounding him. And the throw goes to Marconi. Lee Sterry, started his career with Sydney, Croatia. Played in every match, in fact, in their first season in the league back in 1984 before joining Marconi at the start of 1985. 
Now Wheatley. Henderson. Wheatley. Henderson and Carl has made a run on that far side. Now Wheatley. Green has darted through the middle, as is Steve Maxwell. Now Nastevsky. Nastevsky right on the edge of the penalty area. The shot is blocked. Freeman there using his arms to control the ball. Not too impressed with that decision. The referee was ideally placed. Nastevsky there tries the shot. Charge down. And you can see the arm of Frank Freeman just pushing the ball onto the ground. The referee was ideally placed. Stefski, Farina, turn from Frank Farina, takes the game by Schillerbeer and being forced away from the danger area, Farina gets the cross in charge down there by Botiniskas, Farina playing that one back and playing Carboni in trouble, way by Botiniskas, so a throw for Marconi. since the 1981 season when they won by four goals to one as Henderson tries the shot safely taken there by Willie McNally Jimmy Henderson again trying the long-range effort safely taken by the keeper so called red he's headed down and only finds Milani Turning. Too many options open for him at the moment. Having to play it back and playing into the path of Frank Farina. Good challenge that from Bogdaniskas, who remonstrates there with Charlie Villani. Lake City captain, 27 years old. Get up, get up. On the field who was involved when these two teams met first of all back in 1977. Get up, get up. It was Tony Henderson on the ball now, was then a Canberra City player. So he crosses that one in looking for Jerry Gomez. The header goes wide. Jerry Gomez is going further and further forward in this second half. Marconi go in search of an equaliser. Too much at the moment for the Marconi fans to celebrate. smile there with Sergio Melta. Tony Henderson scored some spectacular goals in his West End Soccer League career. That would have been spectacular if it had gone on target. Finishes up well wide. It seems, Les, that Marconi at the moment running out of ideas. Very much, because <clears throat> that's always the way it goes uh, when you've got so much of the ball and you dominate so much and uh, you continually run out of options. Uh, frustration sets in, so they try try some new things, such as the long-range efforts uh, from Tony Henderson uh, on repeated occasions. But uh, I think they have been a, a little less than lucky today. The ball hasn't brought, fallen right for them uh, in those uh, goal-mouth scrimmages, ball cleared off the line and so on. Uh, so they, their luck might just improve. Stesky with the corner. A post ball, the header from Calderan. Wide. Steve Calderon again, climbing so well. Stefski was the one who floated the corner in. Calderon there with a free header. Finishes up wide. Coney warming up. The substitute, of course, they've used one substitute when Lee Sterry came on to replace, to replace uh, Tommy McCulloch. Tony Sergan. The other player on the Marconi bench today, Betsilis. Now Sandtrack. 
now Sergio Melta. So much good running off the ball, Sergio Melta. He seems to be able to find space. As Tobin plays that one all the way back to his keeper. James in the Adelaide City half. They seem to have spent most of their time this afternoon. At the moment it's all been to no avail. Maxineska's there in there first with the clearance. Sergio Melta. Adrian Sandrak making himself available on that far side. Oh, he's made a good run forward on this near touchline. Nobody's picked him up. And Sandrak there trying to pick out Charlie Villani. He's played it a bit too far ahead. So Stepski. Pushed in the back there by Adrian Sandrak. Free kick to Marconi. Soundtrack. They're just going into the back of Mostevsky and holding. Yeah, Villani. Melt up. And it's Gehurst. Some, some of the Marconi players are showing signs of frustration. Their fans sitting in front of us certainly are. To Mark, Robbie Wheatley, you know, Henderson, Carboni. Oh, you know, got everybody forward. And Jerry Gomez taking his eye off the ball, and Brian Northcote was in there first for Adelaide City. Good chase forward this from Brian Northcote. Gomez in pursuit, Northcote there lifting that one over the defenders. Vetsilis, still Vetsilis. Shot charged down by Steve Cauldron. Vetsilis across, away there by Jerry Gomez. And now Robbie Wheatley. A chance now for Marconi to break quickly with Adelaide City with three players committed forward. This is Frank Farina. Way there from Tobin. Still Farina. Challenge came in from Schillerbeer. Corner conceded. Frank Farina there showing his pace. Getting past one defender. Schillerbeer was the player who came across. Conceded the corner. Marconi wanted to make a substitution. Sergan, the youngster who made his debut last week against St George. He came on as a substitute. He's the player who comes on to replace Antilio Carboni. Tony Sergan, who's a midfielder, only 18 years old. Wearing the number 18 shirt is the player that comes on. Stefski with the corner. The header there from Tony Henderson. Safely taken again by Willie McNally. So Willie McNally. Certainly if anybody deserves a win bonus this afternoon, it's the Adelaide City keeper. Again, saving. Keeping his side in this match. Northcote. For the ball there by 
by Paul Carter. A throw on the far side to Marconi. Challenge in the air, Carter. So the Adelaide City have defended well. They've harassed. They've not really let Marconi settle. Continue to be putting them under pressure. Now Sergan. Nestevsky. Coming in, Brian. Sterry just lifting that one forward. Frank Freena on the chase through. Freena doing well to keep the ball in play. Still Freena. Way there that time from Schillerbeer. He can't get away from Charlie Villani. Corner again to Marconi. 26 minutes gone in the second half. Marconi nil, Adelaide City one. Charlie Villani, the goal scorer. Stefski. Corner for Marconi. Frank Freener at the near post. Steve Caldera. Trying to get a touch. Brian Northcote. Sani with the clearance, Sandtrack. Lifting that one forward. Lee Sterry. Anderson. Maxwell. Beat to the ball that time by Tobin. By Caldrand. Bugs in this because they're under pressure, conceding the throw in on the far side. Marconi having so much of the ball this afternoon, but full mark side lay City. The mark in sight is not giving the Marconi players time to turn. All the ball that Marconi have had, not too threatening. Now Maxwell, good turn that time from Steve Maxwell. Villani. Bugs and Niskas there, caught by Tony Henderson. So Zoran Matic. 18 minutes going to go. Those, this team could certainly come away from here with two points, and I think we'll be a surprise. Les, I believe you've got some latest scores. Yes, we have some uh, changes, Mike. Um, good news for South Melbourne fans uh, from Middle Park. They lead Footscray three goals to nil. Sunshine George Cross, I'm afraid, not doing too well. Sydney Croatia fans will be pleased. Croatia leading 2-0 at the Chapman Reserve. Olympic Brunswick event is still 0-0. And the other scores are as they were. Melbourne Croatia leading St George 1-0. And Apia leading Heidelberg 1-0 at Lambert Park. Charlie Villani. Ball square. Pasani. Pasani flicking that one in away by Steve Calder and straight to Pasani again, trying to get that one across. Half charge down by Lee Sterry, cleared by Steve Calder. And now Henderson. Now Listevsky. Listevsky, long searching ball. Carter on the run through. Tobin was there first. Charlie Villani, played by Alex Tobin. Calder. Pasani. Long ball forward, Paul Cook. Lee Sterry was the player hanging back for Marconi. And now Henderson. In Adelaide City getting everybody behind the ball. They certainly are making it difficult for Marconi this afternoon. And Sergan there just failing to keep the ball in. Tony Henderson acknowledges it wasn't the best of passes. So a throw for Adelaide City. Sergio Meltri in no hurry to retrieve the ball. Sergio Meltri has come uh, through this afternoon's games well. After missing last week's match through injury. Paul Schillerbeer with a throw. And Levy Vatsilis planning to uh, take up the chase. So now it's only Henderson. Good day, 
Stevsky goes down again by Pisani. Jerry Gomez now playing the centre forwards role. He has had a versatile afternoon, Jerry Gomez. Now playing as an out and out striker. Central target man, Gafarina. Gafarina. Now for Paul Schillebeer. Throw to Marconi. Into the final 15 minutes. Tony Sergan. Stefski, lifting that one across, Farina with a header. That wasn't too far away from Frank Farina. Good play there from Nestevsky. Made the space to get the cross in. Turned so well. Flying header, this from Frank Farina. And that's only inches wide. So there was the opportunity for Marconi. Certainly the Marconi fans will be disappointed. See that one go only inches wide. Yeah. Have we got any updates on any of the scores? Well, it's not an update. Unfortunately, it's a correction, Mike. Uh, it seems we've got our wires crossed somewhere. Uh, the earlier score that I gave for South Melbourne against Footscray was, in fact, wrong. It's Footscray who lead 2-0 with goals by Tapai and Spink. Jerry Gomez. Inches wide again. Cross. Jerry Gomez climbing well. This time the header again wide. So going back to that score, Les, uh, that's a bit of a surprise then. That's a that's a that would be a huge shock, in fact. Uh, Footscray getting up South Melbourne, uh, and uh, but good sign that uh, Ernie Tapai and uh, Warren Spink, those two young uh, uh, soccer celebrities, getting them among the goals. Sergio Melza. See, this has made a run. So the hold up play though, he's surrounded by green shirts. And he's won a corner. Come on, lads! Zoran Matic. Now starting to look anxious to see that watch. We can tell him on our watch. There's about 12 and a half minutes left. It really has been a worrying week for him. So many players out for a suspension. And of course, uh, Bugsiniskus and Sergio Mels are both in doubt for this game through injury. A short corner, Adrian Sandtrack. So another corner for Adelaide City. They'll be quite content to waste some valuable seconds, and that's going to worry that man, Roberto Vieri. Another short corner. to talk to the two Marconi players who have retired the required 10 paces. So now the corner can be taken. Villani. Okay, that came off of the Marconi player, so another corner. Some more valuable seconds wasted. Adelaide City will be quite happy with this. Concentrate, the Marconi fans were frustrated already in this match. They're going to be even more so this time wasting. Villani the corner. A sand track. There by Lee Sterry. Free kick given. Referee there waiting to see if there was any advantage and no advantage was forthcoming for Adelaide City. So a free kick now for the visitors. So Adrian Sandtrack. Referee still tries to get the wall back the required 10 paces. You a three man wall. Sandtrack. Turn that one to the far post. The player there was Steve Caldram for Marconi. Now Henderson. He's playing that one forward. Gomez. Unable to control. He tried to curl that one round. The defender was ready to set off on a run. Screwed off his foot and went for a throw in. Now Tobin. Alex Tobin again. Sergio Melter made a good run through the middle and Toby was just unable to pick him out. And now Nestevsky. 
a lot of space on this near touchline. They said he's giving players the chase back, Dostoevsky. Those players was Charlie Villani, who was in the way. Now Sandtrack. And all the way back to Willie McNally. Worrying times for Roberto Vieri. His team out of eight matches here this season. Only managed to win four. They've lost three and drawn one. He knows now they're less than ten minutes away. Losing their fourth home match of the season. Now Wheatley. Sergan. Lee Sterry, the long, hopeful ball forward. Jerry Gomez, net challenge in the air. Quite full for Frank Farina, hooked away there by Paul Schiller. There's been some desperate defending work this afternoon by Adelaide City. Now Northcote. Sani. Sani. That's his flag there going up a bit late. Let me that see this was the player caught offside. Now Wheatley. Run this from Robbie Wheatley. Stefski. Fabrina Toby was the player who came across. Now the Stefski again. Turning that one in. Played there by Villani. Henderson. There's the equaliser. In fact, it's Paul Carter who came up from nowhere. And Paul Carter scores his first goal of the season. Coming 36 minutes in the second half. Marconi come back on level terms. And Paul Carter, his first goal of the season. Mistevsky again gets that ball across. Headed away there by Villani. And a good volley by Paul Carter. William McNally got his fingertips to it, but couldn't keep it out. 36 minutes gone now in the second half. Marconi won, Adelaide City won. So that's the scoreline, and certainly now the Marconi fans have something to celebrate. And there must be relief now for Roberto Vieri. Delta. there by Sergan. Stadium. Lee Sterry. Sergan. Green has stopped there. By Paul Schillerbeer. Throw goes to Adelaide City. So plenty of encouragement now for the Marconi players from their fans. Paul Schillerbeer with a long throw. At Silas. Playing that one forward. And Bruce James just fouls to stop it going out of play. So a corner now for Adelaide City. So Adrian Sandrick in no hurry to come across to take this corner. This time Adelaide City keeping players back. Alex Sobel has to go to Fort Norris, Paul Schillerbeer. Sandrick. Linesman there, just checking that the ball is in the correct position. So Sandtrack, far post ball, off the head there of Tony Henderson. Now Nostevsky. Henderson again, Marconi now, getting players forward quickly. Paul Carter leading the charge up front. Scored one this afternoon, Have to get another one. And Nostevsky, loading this one in. Header from Frank Farina. That wasn't too far wide either from Frankie Farina. Marconi there had players queuing up. Maxwell was there, so was Jerry Gomez. But it was Frank Farina who got on the end of this cross. The header wasn't too far wide. So Willie McNally will know that the final six minutes is going to be put under a lot of pressure. It's Marconi now going search. The winner. This is Jerry Gomez. Gomez there just overrunning the play. 
In fact, the referee now has decided to give Marconi a free kick for the challenge on Nestevsky. Trying to play the advantage role. And then Marconi lost the advantage. So now comes back for a free kick. He's in a similar position to the spot from where Adelaide City scored just two minutes before half time from Charlie Villani. Worrying times now for Zoran Matic. Nastevsky, the free kick specialist for Marconi. Referee Bob Davies tries to get the Adelaide City wall back the required 10 paces. Nastevsky, right over the ball for Marconi. Adelaide City have pulled everybody back. So Nastevsky. He's taking his time. Oh. That one through the wall. Now Carter just nodding that one forward. Yeah. Stefski on that far side. Jumping in, in fact, to Vatsilas. Free kick for Adelaide City to relieve the pressure. Yeah. Left on Stefski, who scored some spectacular goals this year. That time, trying to get the wall through the wall. Got it past the wall, in fact. Adelaide City able to clear. Easterry. Tony wanted to get the ball forward quickly. Easterry letting the ball go out of play on that far side. Every time these two teams have drawn here in Sydney was back in 1978 when it finished up 1 1 on that occasion. Tony Rasic at that stage was the coach here at Marconi. Was in charge of Adelaide City. Well, Vieri in that game was one of the stars for Marconi. Bruce James. Throw out. Robbie Wheatley. Now Henderson. Two and a half minutes left on our watch. Wheatley. Sergan, giving that one in away there by Pasani, hooked back in there by Robbie Wheatley. Jerry Gomez, trying to cut that one back. Maxwell, return from Stevie Maxwell. Maxwell there denied, and so's Gomez, scrambled away for a corner. Roberto Vieri can't believe that. Good defensive play there by the Adelaide City side. One of the Adelaide City players down requiring attention. Like it could be Bugs in Iskus. Coney there really putting on the pressure. Could be a worrying couple of minutes for Zoran Matic. More worrying, in fact, now with his skipper down injured. Jerry Gomez waiting for that ball to drop. Cut that one in. Steve Maxwell here with a good turn. Last one defender, his shot was blocked. Jerry Gomez comes in and his shot's blocked. Scrambled away for a corner. Bergeniskus slowly to his feet. Words and a smile there with Frank Farina. Marconi have a corner. He's taken now by Nastevsky. Curling this one in. The header! And that wasn't too far away from Jerry Gomez. Certainly Marconi, of course, problems this afternoon from these corner kick situations with Steve Cauldron and Jerry Gomez. This time it was Jerry Gomez, and that header wasn't too far wide. <laughs> so Ali with the goal kick. They said he want to get the ball forward, get it away from their danger area. I'd be happy to go back to Adelaide tonight with at least a point. As Vaxilis there was being obstructed by Steve Calderan. Well spotted by referee Bob Davies. The sergeant there with the radio operations division, based here in Sydney. Uh, of course, Bob Davies originates from Newcastle. So 
Adrian Sandtrack with a free kick for Adelaide City. On our watch now, the 45-minute period is up. We're playing stoppage time at Silas. Now Sandtrack. Pushing that one down the line and out of play, a throw for Marconi. Now Wheatley. Marconi wanting to get the ball forward quickly. Wheatley there looking for Freena. Schillerbeer was in there first. Long clearance from Paul Schillerbeer. Carter under pressure. He's getting that one forward. Now Sandtrack. Sandtrack trying to spread it wide. All breaks down. This is Wheatley. Good run forward now from the fullback. Getting it wide to Paul Carter. Carter playing it forward quickly. Looking for Maxwell. Maxwell with a shot. Just over the top there from Steve Maxwell. Good flowing movement there from Marconi. And Steve Maxwell, so close to scoring against his old club. Turn hit that one so well. Finishing up only inches over. So 60 seconds of stoppage time has been played. Some of the Marconi fans now starting to make their way towards the exits. And Adelaide City came here without three first team regulars, all out through suspension. And look as if they will at least be taking a point back to Adelaide tonight. Henderson, lift that one over the defence, way there by Bugs and Iskanis. Gomez nodding that one forward. Now Farina, shot was blocked by Fasani. Way this time by Sergio Melter. Now Wheatley, started off as a left back, finished up in the right back position. Throw on the far side to Adelaide City. Joe Fasani is down in back play after that clash with Frank Farina. Both Farina and Fasani both slow getting back to their feet. Joe Fasani, just 21 years old. Made his debut a couple of weeks ago against Heidelberg. He replaced the injured Sergio Melter. Joe Pisani receiving attention. Zora Matic. Really's got a lot of injury problems already at Adelaide City. So he does get those three players back next week from suspension. Last for the instructions, he said from the bench. Hey. From Brian Northcote, in fact. The game will recommence with throw in on the far side to Adelaide City. In three minutes of stoppage time has been played. It's throw to be taken by Alex Tobin. Yeah, Northcote. Brian Northcote. Henderson. Last chance now for Marconi. Sergan forward. Now Farina. Challenge again came in from Paul Schillerbeer. Certainly Paul Schillerbeer has played Frank Farina very well all afternoon. So a throw for Marconi. Now Farina. Just hooking that one in. Safely taken though by Willie McNally. Jerry Gomez there in close pursuit. It's Gomez, in fact, who helps the goalkeeper back up. I must say this afternoon's game has been played in a good spirit between these two sides. Heavy shoulder charge there from Jerry Gomez. Willie McNally with the long clearance. Off the head there is Steve Caldran. Now Carter. Henderson. Wheatley available on that far side. Just hooking that one in. Schillerbeer, now Henderson, now Wheatley, Paul Grant, Tony needs to get the ball forward quickly, away this time by Paul Schillerbeer, now Brian Northcote, Adelaide City trying to make a quick break, Sergio Melcher on that far side, Charlie Villani's made a run through the middle and now let me if that's Silas, player coming across was Lee Sterry. Forward now for Tony Henderson. Sani. Now Sandtrack. Another check of the watches from uh, referee Bob Davies. Only five minutes of stoppage time has been played. Really McNally with the opportunity of getting this one well forward, getting away from the danger zone. Robbie Wheatley. So time now for Marconi for one final attack. 
Gently playing that one forward. Might come to Steve Maxwell, a throw again to Marconi on the far side. And now Alex Tobin. Break now by Adelaide City. Alex Tobin, stopped there by Lee Sterry. Stefski. Stefski away from Tobin. Turn that one over the head of Schillerbeer. Schillerbeer there recovered so quickly. It was in by before Frank Farina. So a throw for Marconi. Because Adelaide City, in fact, are going to make a substitution. Joe Pisani, the player that's going to come off. And Timmy Mullen, in fact, is the player that's going to come on. So Timmy Mullen, the younger brother of Joe Mullen, the player suspended today, is the player that comes on. Joe Pisani is the player that comes off. Joe Pisani, the 21-year-old, replaced there by Timmy Mullen, the 19-year-old. Both for Marconi. Now Sterry. Now played over six minutes of stoppage time. Weekly forward. Now Gomez just hooking that one in. Away there by Bugsy Niskahus. But Silas. Close down. Falls nicely for Wheatley. Another long searching ball forward. Now Niskus, now Maxwell against the bar and the post. And away to safety. And Steve Maxwell can't believe his luck against his old club. Ball fell in vitally for him. And his shot there hits the angle. The bar and, and post. And Steve Maxwell would love to have scored against his old club. Is denied by the woodwork. So a lot off there for Adelaide City. That coming six minutes into stoppage time. So Willie McNally. This one well forward. Called round, winning that challenge in the air. Gomez just nodding that one forward. Off the head there of Frank Farina. Safely taken though by Willie McNally. So McNally with the clearance as the final whistle goes. Adelaide City, who came here with a depleted side, will return to Adelaide tonight with a point. Their goal came 43 minutes into the first half from Charlie Villani. That's the goal that separated the two sides. And Marconi took until the 81st minute to get back on level terms when Paul Carter scored his first goal of the season. And it's those two goals that give us this final scoreline here at the Marconi Stadium of Marconi 1, Adelaide City 1. And after this break, we'll be back with Les Murray. Welcome back to the match of the day where the final score between uh, Marconi and Adelaide City is a 1-1 draw. And I have uh, the coach of Adelaide City, Zoran Matic, with me as I have uh, Bertie Mariani. Zoran, uh, uh, it was a frustrating uh, game for you. The second half particularly, there was uh, all of a sudden fire in the belly for Marconi and they came at you with uh, just about everything in sight. Well, they've been coming all day. We actually, for the very first time, I have to apologise to everybody that watched this game. Uh, through on TV or, or today or here, we cheated, we played defensively all day and we hope to get something out of it. And I think Marconi was a better team, than, but they just didn't have an answer for our probably defensive formation. Yes, it was very tight in the uh, Adelaide City defence, wasn't it, Bertie? That was very hard to break through and you needed that uh, long-range uh, freakish volley from, uh, from Carter to, uh, to get the point on the board. Yeah. Uh, the defensive formation is an understatement. Uh, as I said prior, we had there was 11, 11 players in their third pretty consistently. Uh, I think for our side, we came back quite well. We got wide, as I said, and we created a lot of chances. Uh, unfortunately, the finishing wasn't there. Uh, overall, I think maybe we should have won, but... Well, done to Adelaide. well, I think Zora, Zoran probably uh, conceded that. Now, teams will do this, of course, uh, away from home, and I, I expect teams who are uh, depleted by, uh, in their numbers uh, uh, with players out and so on will do that. So uh, maybe you've learned something today. Oh, not really. I still think I always put it back to our... I look at our game, and uh, I think it's no matter what uh, formation a team comes at you, it's up to you to set about and try and work it out, and I think we didn't do that quick enough. Zoran, would you have, uh, having admitted that you played very defensively today, would you, you think you would have done that, uh, had, have you had the full team? 
Oh, never. Adelaide City never plays defensively. It's only uh, due to except today. Uh, due, due to circumstances today, that was our plan from the very first, from the Monday. Mm. And uh, we had to rely on that. We had uh, four or five players that never played in this competition. And uh, we had to rely on playing uh, with a lot of numbers at the back and whatever we do at the front, which is not the right way to get people to watch the games. But if you look at it, uh, final thing is uh, how many points you got. That's what people look sometimes. Early on, uh, Marconi, some of the Marconi had your men very well marked, Melta and, uh, and uh, Vatsilas and, uh, and Villani and so on. Uh, uh, did you resign yourself to the fact that you won't be able to get through very, uh, very often? Well, I resign myself. Uh, Sergio Melta uh, hasn't trained for the last two weeks. He had to play. Brian Orkut hasn't trained for the last four months. Uh, has been playing uh, with the players who, uh, who in, and plus youngsters. They, they never played. We had to resign ourselves to defend. Uh, Bertie, uh, since you've come back, uh, a couple of wins and, uh, and this draw today against, uh, after all, the champion club, uh, uh, Marconi continuing to improve? Yes, I think so. Again, I... I would only say we played well again for probably about 10 or 15 minutes in this game consistently. And uh, I just hope we can keep going. It's a week-to-week it's -week proposition trying to get some um, proper play into it. But I think they've improved again. Bertie, thank you. Uh, Zoran, thank you. Good luck in your matches next week. Good luck for the rest of the championship.